Good everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with another reading, which is going to be for all of you out there who has a person on your mind and you really want to know what do they wish to tell you. This reading will help you know that. So we're going to find out messages coming from the person on your mind. So stick around and just be mindful. It's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, what is it that your person has on their mind? Let's find out what their messages. What are they thinking about you? What do they want to say to you? What's on their mind? What's in their heart? Let's find out. <clears throat> love this love scares me number 11 11 could be a significant number for some of you you might have been seeing a lot of 11 11 um or 111 and if that's the case this message is specifically for you from the person that you have on your mind maybe this person is really scared of love they are scared of falling in love they are scared of uh, commitments responsibilities and all those things um, this person really wants you to know that secretly. Uh, number 15 could be significant. Uh, you make me want to do bad things. Okay, so this person really feels like, you know, love is scary and you make them um, do something that they don't want to do. Be that in a, in a romantic way or otherwise. Uh, but this person really wants you to know that sometimes they really feel that they do something wrong and it's all because of you. You push them, uh, you know, to do so or you push the wrong buttons for them. Uh, you already know um, this person probably um, is scared of love and you know that you can sense that coming from this person that they have like a very uh, weird kind of attitude towards it. This person really is very passionately involved in this relationship with you. But at the same time, uh, it seems like, you know, they, they're really scared of commitment and love. They are into you, but at the same time, they are not ready to claim or confess that, yes, it is true love. That they feel towards you they really would want to keep it light fun and just do that they don't want to take things forward right now is what i see here yeah they are in, uh, you know indecisive unsure you know do they want this relationship for a long term or are they happy with the current situation this person really has a strong passion for you for sure um they really think that you are really 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 somebody that they would love to be with um, you make them happy, you bring a lot of excitement in their life, but nothing more than that is what they want to think of right now. Because they think, they believe that love is not a good thing. That's their notion attached to love. Let's see more cards here. I lie awake thinking about our future. This person really, um, you know, aware of the fact that ultimately there will be something or the other that you're going to talk about. Uh, you know, commitment, relationship, moving forward and stuff like that. They do think a lot about it, but they get scared every time they think of it. It just scares them. It's not something that they feel happy about. Um, number four could be a um, significant number here as well. For some of you, you might be born in a fourth month or you might be, uh, your person might be a fourth month born or four uh, in terms of like uh, the date of birth of any month could be four as well. But And if that's the case, trust me, your person is really, really scared of commitment and responsibility of a relationship. They can be a workaholic person too, if that's your person. I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, um, this person is definitely really very um it's 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 more like a person who is hard not to crack uh emotionally i really feel like you know, this person is not somebody who is um willing ready uh for for loving um you know energies uh um exchange to be honest um maybe i really feel like you know <clears throat> this person is um unsure that maybe you could make it right uh, they could be, make the right decision being with you or maybe they will not so they really don't want to take things forward they're happy where the things are between the two of you i could be your hero uh, baby and i really feel like you know this person really believes that yes there is a potential in this relationship but at the same time i don't know so that's their attitude i miss you do you miss me I really feel like, you know, for some of you, if you are in a no contact situation with this person, they want to get back with you, but they are unsure if they can take things forward with you or not, if they can take the responsibility of the relationship or not. Uh, and if that was the reason why you broke up or you stopped talking to each other, they still don't know what do they want with you. I am absolutely in love with you. This person really wants you to know that they are in love with you, but love scares them as well. So they are not like in that zone where they're so sure of what they want. And it's coming right next to the yeah and now. Nah. So they, they do have that feeling that keeps coming and going 
that yes they love you but then they don't know what what do they actually want with you and this relationship so that's you know something that they are confused about let's see more about this person's feelings emotions towards you or do they want to say more to you what else do they have in their heart and their mind that they wish to tell you here with their messages i chose to walk away or stay silent but i'm badly affected this person really wants you to know that you know you are somebody really very important but they might not say it it's easier to just stay away right now they really don't have the time to kind of like you know or they don't feel safe to uh, be vulnerable and let you know how they feel when you are not uh, in their life or when you walk away or something like that happens between the two of you they really feel safe to stay away than to talk about it so there are somebody who runs away from you know uh, facing uh what's going on in the connection they are somebody who runs away he who who probably uh stops uh talking somebody who ghosts you who who choose to give you a silent treatment or something like that but uh, that's how they are they are really scared of love and falling in love is something really really hard for them to do so you are dealing with someone like that. I try finding you and everyone I meet. I feel like and for some of you, even if the two of you are not together, this person, and if they believe that they are not ready for commitment, when they go out and they, they deal with other people, they try to find someone like you, but they are unable to find someone like you. The passion you bring to them in their life, it's matchless. It's not something that anybody can bring in their life for sure. So let's see what else do they, um, what else do they um, want you to know what else do they want you to know what else do they want you to know i no longer let people influence my life i have changed so if you felt that your person is somebody who is always influenced by other people and you know other people do you know make them take decisions of their life they really want you to know that doesn't happen anymore and you need to know that let's see more messages coming from this person that you're dealing with let's see what else do they want you to know what else is it that they would love to say here to you? What is it? What is it? I love you to the moon and back a million times. There you go. This person is opening up now. Um, I really feel like you know they, they still don't feel safe to say it direct to you. And it's more like, you know, they secretly wish you knew all this but um let's see what else do they want you to know you are so so special to me i might not say that to you direct there you go i really feel like you know, it's 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 something that they find very hard to open up about and but that's exactly what's going what what goes in their heart for you and towards you um but yeah that's what i see coming through from uh this person that you have on your mind um if it was of help and if uh um you like this reading don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to um you know check out the services that i offer as well in the description box because i do offer palm readings as well if you're interested in that as well you can reach out to me for that as well on the email id mentioned in the description box so till i do the next read take care bye